What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to log back into Nextcloud. We're going to get into the email app and we're going to connect it to our Outlook account and our Gmail accounts next on Low Res DIY. <music> All right, once you've logged into Nextcloud, we're gonna to go to the Import Mail tab and we're gonna click on Set Up an Account. And the first one we're gonna do is Outlook because it's, it's the easiest. You'll go ahead and, and put your name in and then your email address. It's already in there because I've tested this once or twice already. And then you want to go and add your password, which I'm not sure that was, yeah, it looks like it. And then click Connect. Give it a few seconds and it's going to reach out to the outlook server and do basically a handshake and there's probably a notification that i just logged on to it nope that was lowbrow customs so it's going to start loading in any email messages that are on your email account in outlook there's a few here this is a new account for this video basically and you can see it's just all microsoft stuff so Doing the Outlook account is, is really simple, but to do a Gmail account, it's a little, little more we need to do with that. And let's just go through the steps real fast. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your Gmail account and log in. And then once you're in, you're gonna wanna click on the little gear here, and then you'll want to click on See All Settings. Once that comes up, excuse me looking up, I'm just looking at my instructions here. We're going to click on accounts and import. We're gonna follow that up by clicking on other Google account settings and it's gonna open another tab for us. Over here on the left, we're gonna click on security because we're gonna set up two-step verification. So once you click security, scroll down to it and click on, well, I went fast there. Click on two-step verification scroll down and let's get started it's going to ask you to re-enter your password for your gmail account so go ahead and re-enter that the next step will be to uh, enter your phone number that you want to associate with your gmail account if you haven't done that already i've already done it so mine's already filled in and i like to get text messages you can get phone calls whatever you want let's go ahead and click on see more options you can get a security key or google prompt you but I'm just gonna do the text message. It's just easiest for me. So I'll click next and we'll wait a few seconds and Google will send me an email, which it, or a text message, I'm sorry, which it just did. And I'm going, you're gonna to want to enter the uh, security code that they sent you. Now it's gonna start out with a G dash. You don't need to put in G dash, just put the numbers in. And you validated it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So now two-step verification has been activated and, and we're happy with that. So let's go ahead and scroll back and scroll down to app password. Click on it. It's gonna again ask you to validate your email address password. Click next. Let's start off with select a device and we want a Windows computer. We're going to select an app. We're going to click other. It's going to ask you for the app's name. I'm just going to name it next cloud. Next cloud. Next. Wow, that's a tough one. And click generate. Now it's going to generate this password for you. Obviously, we're going to want to copy that. Click done. It's going to let you know with a little, little email there. And we're done as far as in the Google account settings. So our next step is to go back to uh, our next cloud uh, mail accounts and we're gonna click on manual. Now it's already gonna have everything set up for Outlook if you, you took that step. So we're gonna just have to adjust a few things and let's change that to gmail.com and your IP host, I'm gonna have all this down in the uh, description of the video so you can just do like I'm doing and I'm gonna copy and paste it make sure you're set on SSL slash TLS your IMAP port is 993 adjust your email address to 
whatever you have. And then this is where we're going to paste in that password that we generated earlier in our Google account. So let's go ahead and paste that in. Your SMTP is this guy right here. And then uh, start TLS for the next option. SMTP port is 587. Let's change our account again to Gmail and re-enter that password that we generated. And then click connect. Now it's gonna do the same thing that Outlook did. It's gonna go out to the Gmail servers this time and it's gonna do a handshake. It's gonna go ask the password and everything that we generated. And eventually here it will start populating all of your Gmail email uh, information also. As you can see, Google, security and microsoft it's all in the same one because right now we're just up here on our priority priority inbox which is basically just everything or well there's all inboxes that's everything your priority inbox i thought was just going to be the top one you had on the list but for some reason apparently it's everything also if you just want to see your outlook emails you can click on your your email address right here over here on the left and it'll just show you Outlook. If you wanna just see Gmail information, you can just click on your Gmail and it will show you everything there. And you can do everything in Nextcloud, through Nextcloud that you could do in Outlook and Google email or Gmail. Send, receive, yada, yada, all that stuff. It's just super nice that here you have one place to go and get all your emails. So let's say you have seven Outlook accounts for some reason. I don't know why you would want seven of them. You're a sneaky SOB, I guess. I don't know. But you want to be able to check them all in one place that only you have access to. Well, this has got you right here. All right, so now you've got all 27, 28 of your email accounts hooked up to Nextcloud, and you can check everything out in one convenient spot. So if this video helped out any of you freaks and geeks, go ahead and do me a favor. Click on that like button and that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.